Hi, how you doing? In this video, we're going to talk about one of the most terrifying things I've ever come across. I was browsing the internet the other day when I came across something that truly surprised and scared me. I am, of course, talking about the proposed reboot of Highlander. I mean, really? Surely there can be only one. I, I first saw the original film when it was released on video, and I loved it. I mean, I, I was just a kid, but I was already hooked on martial arts and swords and stuff like that. And there was something about the idea of immortals secretly sword fighting their way through history that appealed to my teenage self like nothing ever had before. I've lost count of how many times I've seen the film, and even now, some 37 years since it came out, I still pretty much know the script word for word. I mean, Christopher Lambert's accent was terrible, the Kurgan sword was an abomination, and the historical accuracy was appalling, but none of that mattered, because... swords! I mean, obviously, I saw the travesty that was Highlander 2, which, in fairness, was probably the worst film ever made, and then... The second attempt at a sequel, Highlander 3, basically exactly the same film as the first one, but much worse, with Mario Van Peebles instead of Clancy Brown. It's better to burn out than to fade away! I never watched any of the series. I, I think that at that point, I decided there can indeed be only one, and I accepted that people would keep trying to ruin what was still one of my favourite ever films, and I just pretended the series didn't exist. And yet, when I heard of this reboot, I was actually intrigued. I mean, there's a definite opportunity for a huge number of films. If we assume that they're going to stop trying to rewrite the movie that started it all, and just work on filling in the 500 or so years that Conor McLeod lived between being kicked out of his original home in the Highlands and the final fight with the Kurgan in a weirdly empty New York City, how many amazing stories could there be about an immortal fighting for his life while trying to hide the fact that he can't die? I apologize for calling your wife bloated warthog. I mean, maybe this is the very thing that such a wonderful film deserves. Whatever you say, Jack. Maybe Highlander's going to be the new Marvel. Or maybe not. When we have a director who can't even get the tagline for the movie right, it's not very reassuring. I mean, it's one of the most famous taglines of all time, and he still managed to mess it up. And is the director who brought us John Wick teaming up with the actor who played Superman really going to capture the feel of the original film? What Lambert brought to the role wasn't an impressive physical presence. He was never the impressive fighter, despite the vast amount of time he'd supposedly had to learn. What he seems to have as a dark, brooding ability to accept hurt that he knew wouldn't kill him. I cannot die. In order to win the conflict. I mean, that's, that's pretty dark. And let's face it, it's how my jiu-jitsu feels quite often. But what he'd learned over the centuries was not how to physically dominate people, but how to hide, how to use deception, how to survive. Is Henry Cavill the right choice? I'm here to help, but it has to be on my own terms. I have no idea, to be fair. You know, the guy can act, but like a lot of people, I suppose I'll be willing to give it a chance. I'm gonna watch it. I'm, I'm gonna start watching it. If it's anything like the Jem Belcher travesty, I'm probably not gonna finish it. I hate you. I mean, the film, it's not just part of my childhood. Lines from it have become part of my family's vernacular. They've been part of the way we talk to each other for as long as I've had a family. You know, those little lines and phrases that seem to find their way from films and TV shows into your daily life. Not just, there can be only one. I can remember years ago talking to my wife about whether I should have a bonfire in the garden, only to be interrupted by a five-year-old saying, There'll be no bonding here today! So, is it just me? Am I the only one that cares and I'm just showing my age? Or, or do you have concerns too? Maybe, maybe you're excited. Let me know. Stick something in the comments. And, and if you aren't subscribed yet, maybe, maybe, maybe do that. According to my analytics, 60% of the people that watch my videos aren't subscribed. And, and I think for YouTube that's a relatively high number of people subscribed, but 60% is a lot. So just, I mean, hey, just click the button. What harm can it do? And to those of you still here at the very end of the video, there can be only one.